Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, yes, so last week I was a little bit distracted when I started clearing this. Uh, we found those lovely wonderful tiles and of course uh, never quite made it back up here. So as you've just seen, I've taken all these uh, wooden slats out of here. Uh, there's a few little stragglers but uh, that's just one more load. And I've put them into, into the potter's chair so I can chip them, uh, put them through the chipper. They're thin enough to chip so uh, we need Quite a lot of wood chipping so might as well use them i don't need any more kindling um, i'm probably going to run out in 2029 <laughs> so i think i've got enough of that um yeah no more buried treasure i'm afraid can't always find treasure but there is that corner still to look at but uh, anyway there's lots of um old branches and cuttings here i don't know what they're doing up here uh, unless they had some sort of fire up here at some point fireplace um yeah, don't really know what they're doing here. So we'll clear that as well. And then that's this corner basically clear. And it's it's quite a nice sized area, this. Um, don't know what we can do with it. Um, if, if this behind me, our second attic, is going to become an apartment one day, this would be... Well, it could potentially be a nice seated area outside of the apartment, maybe an entrance foyer or something, uh, or maybe it could just be incorporated as part of the ap 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 excuse me, apartment. Um, don't know, but we'll, we'll work that out. But the first stage is let's clear it and see what we've got. So I'll finish clearing that lot up. Uh, Susie's outside in her favourite place doing a bit of weeding and gardening. Um, so, yeah. Well, I've uh, cleared this now. I've got to sweep it all up, but I think I'll clear that corner before I sweep up, and then I'll, I'll have one big clear up. Uh, but I've just measured it, uh, this area. It's starting to feel quite a nice area all of a sudden. I know it's still a bit messy, but um, instead of feeling like a, a horrible, neglected part of the place, it now feels just as though it belongs here. You know, it's, it's slowly belonging to the place again. Uh, but I've just measured it, it's 3.3 metres by 5.6, which 18, 19 square metres, so it's a nice size area. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm really pleased. I didn't find anything under all that wood, but I didn't expect to, but there you go. Um, I thought what I'd do is I'll just show you outside. I did show you last week when I was um, doing this, um, but I want to give you a, a good explanation as to what's going on. And, how, how this space has come about. So I've brought you out to the other side of that uh, wavy edged wall. Um, so what this property was split into two, uh, we believe around 1984, and the son inherited this side and the daughter inherited that side. But they had to make a separation, if you like, of the property. So they created this open space these openings here and that gives us access from the front garden into the back um, but what I believe would have happened this floor would have continued all the way a lot across and so it would have actually been one big area just like our attic and but when opening it up this would have been open to the elements I know we're under cover here but the wind can get in so they've obviously knocked up this um, wavy edged wall so this is ours but this isn't this is our neighbor's property this wall here um, and this this would have continued presumably all the way down um, it's a shame really but there you go so I think what we probably need to do long term think about it the, the boot room is the other side of this wall here is this is a big old solid piece of wood but it might not hurt to build another wall up underneath it just as I have on this side just to make sure you know it's been there a long long time uh, there is a side of woodworm but these yes yeah, 
these take a lot of um, it would take a lot to destroy this uh, but it wouldn't hurt to support it and then we can build a partition wall up there uh, and enclose that now the I don't know whether you can see it from there but there was a doorway here and I can see a hinge now whether that was a separate room and then this was another separate room don't know but obviously there was a door there maybe they created a, a staircase here I don't know um, but anyway that's 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 a bit of the history of this part of the building um, yeah I mean we could if we wanted to build a floor along here and then that would be an even bigger area it would effectively double that room but quite honestly that attic room is big enough as it is uh, I forget the size of it uh, 50 no 60 70 square meters that attic plus this so it doesn't really need any extra and of course we've got good head height here if we wanted to get a digger in or something like that so if we put a floor here we would limit ourselves uh, but that is an option so anyway i thought i'd just show you We have a cauliflower. <laughs> we picked one the other day and weighed it and it was two and a half kilos. And we've got another four there. But we didn't actually know they were here because the leaves were covering it all. And we thought they hadn't grown <laughs> until we looked inside. I think we're gonna make some piccalilli. That's annoying. So this was uh, around the fireplace in the tower room, but now that we've taken the bricks out of there, this is no longer uh, required up there. Um, there used to be one here uh, when we first moved in, but it was so rotten and rusted. It was actually in pieces. And there was one or two jagged edges so we had to get rid of it so I was hoping to utilize this um, I don't know whether I'll be able to bend that um, I can heat it up and try I guess uh, otherwise I don't really have a use for it Hello, boy. okay I was hoping it would fit <laughs> you could always hope Hello, Baxter.
Well, that's not too bad. There's a slight kink in it, right in the middle of the screen there, but that's not too bad. I think if I give it another go, I might be able to flatten that a bit. Well, that's not bad um, I can see the slightest of kinks now so basically I, I straightened it up the best I could and clamped it but there was quite a kink and at the on the what will be the inside so you won't see it it did split but only about halfway through so on the face it's okay um, but you know it, it, it's however many years old I don't know it could be centuries old for all I know so you know a little kink here and there it's not going to hurt um, and you won't see the split because it's on the inside and I when it's installed um, I will put a little bead of mortar uh, between that and the bricks so you won't see it um, I've got the option if I want to of painting it but I quite like the beaten up old rusty look of it um, if I do paint it I'd, I'd put some hammered color on it like you know hammered black finish or something like that that would enable me to grind this down and then fill so it would be perfect but you know there's lumps and bumps all over it so I'm not I'm not going to get too worked up now what I'm going to do now because I'll, I'll let that cool down for 20 minutes or so I need to now bend this down so it's coming down here um, now the chances are it'll split on the outside if I'm not careful so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a hacksaw on what is the inside and I'm going to cut a couple of grooves just where it will bend and that should help it bend. Um, I don't mind the crack on the inside of this because you won't see it but because I'm bending this way any cracking will appear on the outside on the corner so I don't really want that if I can help it. So I'll give that 20 minutes and I'll come back to it with a hacksaw. Right I need one, one six two. That looks pretty good to me. So as long as I've measured it uh, correctly, yeah, we'll be okay. <laughs> Bit late now. <laughs> Measure twice, bend once. Um, there's a very, very, it was just starting to split, but it hasn't split, so that's okay. It could be just a bit of the surface rust that's popped, uh, but it's, it's so small you wouldn't see it. So I need to just let that cool down and then I'll give it a test fit these pieces will be too long I don't think they'll go in so I'm gonna to have to cut these at some point uh, but the first thing we wanted to do was get it so it will fit um, yeah so brilliant I'm glad pleased about that
Right, moment of truth. That is absolutely perfect. Brilliant. And the good thing is these um, ends, uh, they've got splayed ends, which means they're misshaped, if you like. Um, so when they go into the mortar there, they can't move. Uh, so it won't come this way. And I don't have to cut anything off. That's a little bit long, but I think I can get it in between the, the granite and these bricks. And uh, this one... I've only got a few millimetres there to spare, but I think I can get that one in as well. So hopefully I don't have to cut those. So they'll stop it coming this way. And to stop it going down, we've got these two fittings here. Um, now upstairs in the tower room, they were rendered over. The bricks below this bar were rendered, and that holds these two fittings in and stops it dropping. Um, I can do that because we probably will render underneath. We, we may or, or may just repoint. The, the other thing I can do is I can bend these two brackets and actually slide them in so they're under the bricks and that will stop it from dropping. But um, yeah, really pleased with that. Um, uh, it had no use up in the tower room anymore because we've got rid of the brick half. And um, so I'm really please from re repurposing it yeah brilliant and just there where that uh, corner brick has dropped down where those two bricks would meet is where the crease is where I straightened it out so it's hardly noticeable so I'm really pleased with that and as you can see that fits in around the corner there so that's going to be brilliant So how many ways are there to cook a cauliflower? Cauliflower cheese, which we're going to have later. Uh, piccalilli. Piccalilli cauliflower dipping sauce. You used to make nice piccalilli yeah, in, yeah. in the UK, didn't you? Yeah, I love it. I haven't made it for a while, so yeah. Sugar-free for me. Sugar-free piccalilli. Uh, roasted cauliflower. Cauliflower bar cheese. Yeah, yeah. We'll think of a few things. Cat cauliflower puree. <laughs> cauliflower this. <laughs> we'll be sick of it. <laughs> cauliflower rice. Yes, yeah. Yeah, we used to do that. We haven't done that for a long time. No. There you go. There, see. Cauliflower bake. Cauliflower bake. That's probably like um, cauliflower cheese. <laughs> probably. Cauliflower <laughs> cheese, yep. So we'll think of something. <laughs> Benji and Fleur are off to the vets on Friday to have their teeth done, yeah. taken out and cleaned. And... Um, We'd just like to say thank you for people that donated to Association En Route. They're really chuffed. Um, they got a few donations, didn't they? So it's really kind yeah, of you. Thank us, you. So thank you. Thank you very it much. It really helps them. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> they do really good work. So every penny helps. It's going to be tricky on Friday because we can't take them till 10 o'clock. So they can't have their breakfast. <laughs> and they, they are manic for their breakfast in the morning. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work, mm. but we'll work something out. Cruel to be kind, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, we might have to get there earlier. Yeah, like seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see it's nice out today. Yeah, very nice out today. Mm. It's turning Got out to be nice. First time the umbrella's been out. Well, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you'd like to uh, click like and subscribe and <laughs> press the notification bell, that would help us tremendously. Yeah. I think um, a few other channels have had trouble with um, people being unsubscribed. Apparently, they've yeah, been, because we, we watch a lot of them. Yeah, so they've been checking, people have been checking and they found they've been unsubscribed for some reason. Yeah, we, we think it's viewers thinking they're subscribing and they're pressing the button but Again. it's actually unsubscribe if you're already a subscriber so mm. um, but we've picked up quite a few recently so yeah uh, it's been good it's been very good so yeah if you would press that button it'd be brilliant and thank you for the coffees this week yes thank you so we'll see you next time bye
Bye. No. Max.